Hi, in this video, we're going to give a very careful proof of the following statement. So we're going to prove that this function, uh, which maps the set of all two by two matrices into the set of all four tuples given by this formula is one to one and onto. In other words, it's a bijection. So another word for one to one is injection and another word for onto is surjection. So whenever you have a function that is an injection and a surjection, it's also called a bijection. So we're gonna review all the definitions in this video. So if you've never seen these definitions, hopefully you can understand. And it's really just all about using the definitions correctly. So let's go ahead and first uh, focus on one-to-one, -one. so proof. Whenever I put something in parentheses, it's technically not part of the proof. Um, I wanna emphasize that. I'm doing that just for um, an explanation. So in parentheses, not part of the proof. So recall, what does it mean for a function to be one to one? So function f from capital X into capital Y is one to one or injective if whenever you have something like f of A equal to f of B, this implies that A is equal to B. And this has to hold uh, for all AB. So for all AB and X, I didn't write that part. Uh, whenever you have f of A equal to f of B, a is equal to b. So that's what we have to show. So in this problem, we'll start by assuming um, that we have this, and basically we'll show that a is equal to b. So first one to one. So claim f is one to one. All right, let me switch colors. Let's go to yellow. So we'll start by saying suppose, and we'll use the following variables. So I'll say f of bracket, let's say A, B, C, D is equal to F of, and then our matrix here. So instead of A, B, C, D, I need to use different variables. So what I'm going to do is put a bar above all my variables just to make it easier. So A bar, B bar, C bar, and D bar. And now we have to show um, that these two matrices are actually the same. So now the only thing we can really do is use the definition of our function here. So this implies we have the following. So applying uh, F to this matrix, we're just gonna get exactly what's up here on the top right of the screen. So we have parentheses D, negative C, 3A, and B. And applying F to this matrix, we're gonna get exactly the same thing, except in place of A, B, C, D, we'll have A bar, B bar, C bar, and D bar respectively. So we'll have D bar, negative C bar, three times A bar, and then B bar. Hence, what does this mean? I'm gonna write it over here. So that means that D is equal to D bar, right? Because you have two four tuples and they're equal, therefore their components must be equal. So the first component is equal to the first component. So we have D, I'll put it in brackets here, equals D bar. And then we have negative C equals negative C bar. But this, this implies immediately that C equals C bar. And then we have 3A equals 3A bar. 3A equals 3A bar. But you can just divide by 3, so this implies that A is equal to A bar. And likewise, we have B equals B bar. So we have D equals D bar, C equals C bar, A equals A bar. B equals B bar. In particular, um, the matrices are going to be exactly the same. So thus, every entry uh, in these matrices is equal. So we have that the matrix A, B, C, D is equal to uh, the matrix A bar, B bar, C bar, D bar. And so F is one to one. So this shows F is one to one, and so we're done. So now let's go ahead and show the onto part. So claim F is onto, claim F is onto, and recall onto also means um, surjective. So what is the definition of onto? That's absolutely 100% necessary in order to understand what happens next. So I'm going to add, go ahead and write that. So recall F from capital X into capital Y is onto, if, well, for every little y and big y, which is, this is the codomain, and 
this is the domain. So for every value of little y or element little y and capital Y, uh, there exists uh, some little x and capital X uh, such that f takes little x and sends it to y. So given any element in the codomain, we can find some element in the domain, uh, say little x, that gets mapped to that element um, in the codomain. So that's what it means for a function to be onto. So we need to show that this function uh, up here is onto, so we need to figure it out first. So for practical purposes, I'm just gonna go ahead and this is gonna be our scratch work. I'm gonna go ahead and write down our function again. And we're gonna figure it out, then we'll do the proof, okay? so. Usually you want to figure it out before you start writing your proof. And I'm going to show you how to figure it out. That's really the, well, it's part of the important part. You should know how to figure it out, and you should also know how to, how to write the proof. And we had D, negative C, 3A, and B. So this is D, negative C, 3A, and B. All right, so we have to show it's onto. So basically we're going to apply this definition here, um, which um, I've written down. So to show it's onto, remember this function goes from, go ahead and write down uh, the sets because we're going to need those. So given an element in y, see this is our y, so I had to write it down. This is our y and this is our x. So given an element here, we have to find a matrix such that f takes that matrix and sends it to the element. So working backwards, we basically need, so we need, we need matrix A, B, C, D, such that F of A, B, C, D is equal to some element uh, which we're taking here. So I'll just say X, Y, Z, W. So basically given, you wanna be a little more formal in the scratch work, given a four tuple, in R4, the set of all four tuples with real entries, we need uh, a matrix, which is in this set here, the set of all two by two matrices, such that F takes that matrix and sends it to the four tuple. So we just have to work backwards now. Okay, we just have to work backwards. So now we're, we have to basically solve uh, for the matrix because that's what we need, right? So really important. So given that four tuple, we need this matrix. So now we're going to apply F to this matrix, which basically means copying down this formula here. So this is D, negative C, 3A, and B. And that's equal to X, Y, Z, and W. And quickly here we can solve uh, for all of the variables. So D is equal to X. That's gonna be our first one, D is X. I'm gonna circle that, right? This is our scratch work, this is not a proof. And then uh, negative C is equal to Y. So that means that C is equal to negative Y. I'm gonna circle that, that's important. And then we have uh, 3A equal to Z. So 3A equal to Z. And so that means that A is equal to Z over three. Again, we're solving for A, B, C, D because we need the matrix. And last and certainly not least, we have B equals W. So B equals W. So our matrix, let's go ahead and write it down. The, the one we're gonna use in our proof is gonna be A, B, C, D. So what's A? A is going to be Z over three. B is going to be W. C is going to be negative Y. And D is going to be X. Okay, so this is going to be our matrix in our proof. All right, so now we're gonna write the proof. Okay, now we're gonna write the proof. And we're just gonna follow the definition uh, 100%, so proof. So um, given, actually I wrote, I wrote proof twice, but it um, doesn't matter. I wrote it up here when we did the one-to-one, -one, but this is the scratch, and then now we have the proof for, for onto. So given any or tuple, so any x, y, z, w in the codomain, which in our case is the set of all four tuples, we have, we have the following. We have that this matrix, whose entries are Z over three, 
w, negative y and x, that's a really ugly z, z over three. This is an element in the set of all matrices that are two by two with real entries. And these are all real entries, right? Because x, y, z, and w are all real numbers. So you're dividing by three, multiplying by negative one here. So clearly they are real. So given the four tuple here, we found uh, an element. This is a matrix with real entries, therefore it's in here. And then let me just erase that comma, such that, I'll even spell it. Now we're gonna check. We're actually gonna check. We have to check the condition, right? So see, for all y and y, that part there is this part here, right? This is, this is our y. And we said given any, so it's for all. And then we have this element in this set here. That's this part here, that's the existence part. You see there exist in x and x. Our matrix is our x. Now we have to show that f of x is equal to y. So to do that, we basically just have to apply f to this matrix, which we haven't done yet. So f of, and then we have a bracket, z over three, w, negative y and x. And I've erased F, so I'm gonna write it here just uh, for convenience. So this is A, B, C, D. And I believe F was D, negative C, three A and B. Now we're gonna apply F to this matrix here. So we have parentheses. So our D is this one here, X, okay. Negative C, so that's this entry here, so it'll be negative, negative Y. 3A, so three times Z over three. This is the part that feels good. <laughs> this is the proof. And then um, our B is W. So this is X, Y, threes cancel, Z, W. And that completes the proof, right? So the proof of onto is just this, just this here in brackets. This is the proof for onto. Uh, obviously the proof is not that hard, it's, it's figuring it out. And again, you just use the definition to do that. So because F is one to one and onto, it's also called a bijection. So therefore, F is a bijection. Not really a hard problem by any means. Um, it's just basically uh, just knowing how to use the definitions, understanding the definitions and applying them. So you apply two definitions uh, directly to this function. And if you apply them carefully, you should be able to do it. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there who is trying to learn to write proofs. Good luck.